Hey everyone, lately we've been learning a little bit about one point perspective. Uh, so today we're gonna have a go at doing um, a one point perspective drawing of the inside of a bus, looking down the bus to the back window. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to draw the inside of the bus, which is a little bit like the inside of the room. The tricky bit is adding all the seats, and then after that, you can have fun just adding your own colors and even adding in some people and adding in some scenery outside the window. So I'll show you how I go about doing it. You can draw along with me, have a go, have some fun and see what you can come up with. Let's get started. Okay, to create a picture of the inside of a bus, I guess is really like creating a picture of the inside of a room, except with some windows and lots of seats. Now, we're gonna start this. Some of this is easy, some of this gets a bit trickier. So we're gonna start just by making a cross very lightly through the middle of my page. In fact, I'll do it a bit darker so you can see it, but um, I would advise you do this lightly because you're going to rub this out. A cross through the middle, something like that. Pretty close to right through. Now, we just need to make sure we've got our point in the middle because that's very important that we keep our point. And now we're going to create a rectangle um, around the outside. So a rectangle needs to be, um, I mean, I'm just guessing here, but I'm gonna make it say, oh, let's go get a bit bigger. Let's go about this large. Again, just sort of lightly. That's probably a bit too dark. Um, create the sides. And then we're gonna create a roof here, but I'm just gonna make it slightly curved. It's the top of the bus is slightly curved. Now we've got sort of the back of the bus. It's a little bit wobbly, but well, it's close enough. Now, I'm just gonna create the back window first. To create a back window, I just need to create a rectangle. Something like this. Sorry, mine's a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. All right, and um, we might do some windows next. So from our point here, I'm just going to create um, a line that comes out. Now, to get these accurate, I'm just going to measure from this point. Um, let's go down, say, a centimetre. That will do. I just need to do the same the other side so that it's even. And now if I match these two points, this point and your one-point perspective, I can now create a line out like this and I know it will be the same the other side or very close to. Okay, now I want my windows to come out again so um, I might join it to this, imagine from this corner to this point, but I'll make it come out like this. Okay, and now I'm just creating another line that comes out. Okay, to start creating sort of the walls. Okay, now, from here, I'm gonna create some windows. So I just need to just kind of guess this out. So I'm just gonna put some light lines in here. And something like that to start with. Um, I guess you could measure this out and get it really accurate, but I'm just going to sort of guess it. In fact, I'll just go like a rule of length here. Something like that. Okay, let's just do a thinner line here to make the little gap. Okay, and that's probably enough. We'll imagine the window goes quite long. Um, now, here's the tricky bit. We're gonna have to, so we've just created this room. In fact, just to make it a bit clearer, I'll just get rid of these lines. You can see what's going on. Okay, so imagine this is the back of a bus looking out the back window. We've got the side walls and we've got the floor, but there's no seats in here. Um, so I'm just gonna create like a pathway down the middle first. Uh, I'm just gonna find sort of roughly where the middle is. Um, okay, we'll go here. Um, and just make it sort of, I guess, even, you know, even on both sides. Uh, let's go, actually, let's go. Yeah, that should be wide enough. Something, I don't know, just make that up. Just as long as it's even. And I'm just going to create a pathway down the middle. Okay, this is the center of my bus where you walk down. Now I'm gonna put a back seat on in a minute, 
but I need to put all these rows of seat. This is the trickiest part of the whole picture, I guess. So we're gonna just do a really simple version here. So what I'm gonna do in a way is kind of create some little, um, I guess some little boxes, which are then, which, which are gonna create some seats. So to do this, um, obviously I've got my little pathway here where the bottom of the seat we're joined to. Um, and I need the top to work out the tops of the seat. So just work with me here. We're going to now create um, just underneath my window ledge, just put in a light line of perspective here. We'll do the same the other side. Now this will start looking confusing because I'm about to have lines going all over the place, but these lines are going to help me. Now, I also need to work out um, the height of my seats, um, I guess going this way. So we need to um, create another line. So I'm going to create it maybe, I don't know, let's just guess it. In fact, I might even come like a centimetre off this line. I'll do the same this side. And I'm just creating a new line like this, okay? Just work with me here. Okay, so I've got this line, this line, and I've got my little pathway. Now, I need to put in the tops of these seats. This is how it's going to, um, this is how it's going to kind of work. So what I need to do is work out the tops, imagine all the tops of the seats coming down. And I'm just going to rule those along. I'm just guessing this out. But let's just, in fact, I'll just go straight through. Let's just work out where the tops of these seats are and how far apart. Now, I'm just guessing this out, knowing that as seats get closer, they're going to sort of spread out. As things get further away, they'll get more narrower and narrower. So here we go. As I said, this is going to look confusing because I've got sort of lines going everywhere at the moment. But we just need to sort of see through these lines to see that these lines are going to help us put in some seats. Now, in fact, I'm not even going to rule this. I'm just going to draw it to show you. So imagine um, this is the top of my first seat. So it's going to come down and it's going to come across to create the top of a seat. It's even a little bit curved. Okay, now I'll be able to see behind the next seat and a bit of the side of it because I'm looking down the middle. So I'm just going to come from this point down. Um, I could even curve it around and bring it across to the end like this. Okay, same with the next point here. Bring it down, curve it along like this. So I'm creating these sort of back walls to these seats. Let's do the same with this one. Same with this one. And this will be my back seat here. Okay, which will come like this. Now, along the end here, because I've come to reach to the end, I just need to bring that seat down as well. And this one is going off the page, that's okay. Okay, it's really only that one. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Uh, let's go from this point. Okay, we're bringing these points down like this. Okay, bring the tops over. and the back seat. Okay, now, um, as I said, it probably looks a little bit confusing at this point. So now we've just got to work out where the actual seat goes, where the, we will sit on it. So let's just guess them in. We'll put them in like this. Okay, maybe there's a seat here. Maybe there's one here. Maybe there's one here. Okay, and now we've got something that looks a little bit like a back seat. Okay, and now I'm just gonna play around with just putting some sort of corners in and curves in. I'm going to curve the windows out. In fact, I'm going to go over this with a, a, a pen so I can really see it. And I'm just gonna add in some extra lines and details and features. Um, and you can kind of just sort of make this up as you go. Let's have some fun with it. Just curve out your windows. Okay, you might even want to sort of just double your windows up to make it look 3D. 
Okay, something like that. And uh, let's just finish putting these seats in. Okay, I'm just kind of making these legs and things up, but depending on how you sort of measure it, you might have to adjust it and change things and stuff like that. But that's your basic bus. Um, I'm just even gonna just double up some edges. Uh, you could even put some lines on the top. I don't know, I guess there's not really much more to the bus. Um, but now, you just want to get rid of all your unwanted lines. Okay, and at this point, we've got the basics of the bus. And, um, I mean, you could have put some passengers on the bus. You could have had some people on the bus. Um, you could put some things outside the window. You can do whatever you want with it, really. Um, in fact, I might even have a bit of fun just colouring it in myself. So there we go, that was my attempt at drawing the inside of a bus, looking down the bus to the back window. Um, but that was really just a quick demo to get you started. You can have some fun, you know, designing it however you want, putting the seats out in however you like. You can add people, you can add scenery, you can really do whatever you want and let your imagination run with it. But I hope this was helpful, I hope you had fun doing it, and good luck, bye.